Well, it's the start of yard sale season. That means today is gonna be all yard sales all the time. I believe there's a church sale, a community sale. Um, there's like a fundraising sale. So I'm gonna go check all those out, see if I can't find anything cool. Uh, video games, toys, collectibles, 90s stuff. So let's do this and see what I can find. Here we go, look at this yard sale. Looks pretty cool. What do you think? That well, looks pretty neat, eh? All right, what are we looking for? You don't know yet? Looks like they got lots of stuff. Holy moly, they got so much stuff. Jeez. That's kind of neat. When it comes with little people. Oh, look right here, Ev. Look at all the accessories and stuff. Oh. <laughs> There's a whole whimsy set there. Look. Unicorn. That's pretty cool. Well, accessories and stuff in here. There's a rooster here. Oh my goodness. So many. I know lots of miniature things, right? We have this game. That's a pretty cool game, eh? That's a maybe. The slap chop. I haven't seen that in so long. Oh, I almost missed this. So good, some pogs. These little guys are great too. Little tykes people. Wow, that's a giant poppet. Oh yeah? Oh, I think these guys go with this car actually. They do go with this car, okay. Cool, we'll get that and that. This is like a little people style thing. Kind of cool. These blocks are a throwback from back in the day. What's in the bins? Anything in here? No, it just looks like regular. This looks like stuff that we don't need. I ended up grabbing this too. It's like a steering wheel Tonka for Jeff Gordon. It might be to go to a car, but it's pretty cool to find. Let's miss this little setup. Some old VHS tapes, anything I want. Casper's Haunted Christmas is a good one. Grab the wrong one. I like that. Yeah, maybe the Sword in the Stone as well. Another classic. Okay, so that first yard sale was really good. Uh, ended up finding quite a bit of stuff. A lot of like old school Fisher Price stuff and the pogs are probably the best find from that yard sale. Uh, those are authentic pogs. So they have a value of, you know, that lot. Probably about 30 bucks. I uh, got everything. It was by donation. I donated $20. So I uh, feel like that's pretty fair. They were more than happy with that. Now we're on our way to a church sale, which I often find that you find a lot more older stuff at church sales. So hopefully... I find some cool stuff there. I love yard sales that have hot dogs. I'm gonna have to get some of those. Starving already. What's going on in here? Look at all. Oh, we get to go inside. Let's go check it out, eh? All right. Here we go. Lots of toys back here. Arthur. Oh, dolls, 25 cents each. You gonna get that? Okay. I'm gonna get him. What's down here? There's some cars. That's pretty cool. Is that a Tonka? No way. Oh no. It's 
It's a mirage, and he's broken in half. Can I fix him? And another transformer. Yes. Oh. Ironhide. Okay. That's awesome. Donkey truck. Is there any others? These are cool. It's a gumball machine. There's more. So we got Disneyland Connect, Battlefield, Modern Warfare. Cool. Follow with all the maps. That's a cool one. Another phone. strategy guide. These are awesome. Okay. I think I see one more. Skyrim. Another one. These books are cool. They're all Disney books. They teach you about learning. I saw something over here that I was going to have to get. These right here are amazing. They're put, you put your beer in them and they keep it cool. So they're for like Papa John and people like that. They're super hard to find now. So these are actually worth about 40 bucks a piece. Okay, so the church sale was actually pretty good. Uh, we had to drive a little bit. Everything's pretty spaced out today, so that's kind of a bummer. But uh, we found some sweets for Everly, found some dolls for Everly, and then I found some original Transformers. The Mirage is broken, or that would have been like a $100 find. Uh, the Ironhide is not broken. A little bit dirty. I'm going to clean them up. I'm going to see if I can't fix the Mirage or just sell it out for parts. Uh, and then we also found the um, strategy guides for Fallout and Skyrim which are pretty good. But one of the coolest finds is those old coolie cups, which can have a lot of value. I have sold those ones before in the 30 to $40 range for a set, which is, those ones are a little bit, the ones I found today are a little bit worse condition. So let's say they're 15 bucks a piece, 15 bucks each, or sorry, 15 for the pair. That's a good find as well. So now we're on our way to do a community sale. So it should be a lot more yard sale action, less driving. There you go, I have to check it out. Look right here. A whole bunch of Minecraft guys. She's playing Minecraft in the car on the way here. <laughs> These are some good books. Stuart Little. I just don't have enough room on my walls. Yeah. It's okay. I asked him, and yes, he's going to help. He's better not drop it. Oh, my goodness. That's shoe box. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Look at all the stuffies. Hello. Right there it is. Come on now. Come on. Oh, this, this guy actually came with a tape with him back in the day. I had one. Yeah. He would sing songs. I like those guys. Ooh, there's dolls, F. Wow, there's some good stuff here. That's an old doll, eh? What do you think of those guys? Is this a Smurf house? I'm gonna get this. I don't know what it's from. Did you? Oh, it is a Smurf house. Cool, look at this. Oh my goodness. It's a Batman from way back. It's a C-3PO figure. Price. Oh, there's some cool stuff. It's just broken. This is a G.I. Joe part. I'll grab that. This 
goes with this. This goes with that. Okay, here's a good find right here. This is Optimus Prime's blaster. Transformer part. Another one. Oh, Smurf. Find, did you find any other Smurfs in there? Okay, we'll put those guys with that. That's a G.I. Joe leg. This goes to a Lincoln from way back. I'm gonna grab that. That might have some value. Tennis racket. This goes to a G.I. Joe. Okay, we got a little bit. Oh, look, an old Fisher Price. Oh my goodness, that's old. That's cool. And what is this? Here, let's open this. How does this open? Look at this. The Hello Kitty Yu Gi Oh! Grab that. That's awesome. That's a maybe right there. Look at all these old bottles. Okay, you gotta be very careful. These are all breakable, okay? Yeah. Trust me, I could, I would. Oh, here's another doll. Yeah. She's from Germany. My dad brought her home for me from Germany. I remember that. That's um, an oldie. She is an oldie. Oh my gosh, it's like this. So Nostalgia? I've had, I've had my <laughs> Bobby doll. Like, just amazing. Hard work, man. You know what I mean? I get, you know, when I was working, I, I interviewed people and they were asking me, like, what kind of company are you like? I'm like, I'm a job. Like, start showing up on time, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, Rick and I thought about how grateful we are for everything you guys see. Seen it? And then also when you're employed, we don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Right? So there's some kids' books over there. And watches Canadian club watch it's pretty nice oh they're all they're all old watches from me Yeah, these are really cool. So in here, you squeeze the sides of them, and his mouth opens up, and you put a chocolate in it. You want that? That's pretty cool, eh? And there's like little trinkets and stuff in here. Little birds and... So we were in a bit of a dry spell. We ended up doing pretty well at that last yard sale. They had so much stuff, um, like, but lots of parts and pieces. But for some reason, I'm on a Transformers score today. Here's a look at what the haul so far. So there's the Cooley Cups. This is an iron hide from way back in 1982, 84. And here we just got some accessories and stuff. A lot of stuff for Evie, my daughter, but the Pogs were a good find. And then we got this Smurf house, which was made in West Germany way back. And then this bin, believe it or not, has all kinds of cool stuff. This wind-up Snoopy still works. It's from, I can't even see a date, but it's definitely early 80s. A Mego Batman, he's broken, but the head's in good shape, so it could be parted out. Some Smurfs, some, I believe this is Micronauts. Parts and accessories. This just goes to a G.I. Joe. Um, I believe I want to say this goes to like Voltron or something. Optimus's blaster. I'm pretty sure this goes to a Transformer as well. This is an old Lincoln, I believe. Um, hood ornament. And then all these watches. 
Canadian Club, the Dory, uh, Calve, or Calve. So they're old watches. I don't know if there's much value to them, but I got them on a pretty good deal. So all in all, and I don't know much about this set, but it's uh, like Hot, Hot Wheels from 1981. I don't know if it's complete or whatever. I got to do some looking, looking into it, but I've only spent about $40 today. I feel like there's a significant amount of value here. All right, what's at this one? Ooh, that's a cool puzzle. Small Berenstain Bears bucks. Here's a couple books. See any movies you want to get? Land Before Time. You ever watch that movie? Alpha and Omega. That's an old Mickey and Donald rattle from back in the day. Maybe I get that. Hold that. That's cool. South Park. The OC. Avatar. Planet Earth. Get that for two bucks. A good one. Okay, so we're at the next yard sale. Uh, we've had to drive so far to find any today, but so far, so far, so good in terms of overall finds. Just a lot of driving. Uh, I'm sure it'll pick up. It's still early in the season, but this one looks kind of promising. Lots of boxes. Hopefully, some cool stuff. Let's see what we shall see. Lots of heart. Lots of soft cover books. Oh, there you go. Toys. Is that Hot Wheels stuff? Big dinosaur. No, that's another gentleman will have the same question. This is kind of cool. Five for everything? Is that what it is? Yeah. So basically, that yard sale didn't have too much, but on my way out, I found a couple cameras. So I got a couple Kodaks for five bucks. Well, this one's a Samsung. I don't know if it's gonna be worth anything. Who knows? Uh, this Braun Flash, but for five bucks, who knows? And then this Kodak Easy Share. I think this is the one from the box. I'll have to test it out and see if it works. But even for parts, probably worth more than five dollars. Does come with a adapter, so I'll be able to charge it. And the other thing was this one, an Olympus. This is an old camera. Um, I'm not sure if it works. I'm gonna probably just part it out, sell it as is. Uh, it does have the box though, so for another five bucks, worth taking a shot. So today's been a lot of driving. Haven't hit as many as I hope, but I have found a lot of stuff. I'm gonna try and find one, maybe two more if I could, they're close together, because I swear I must have driven 300 kilometers today trying to find yard sales. Um, but it's worth it sometimes, that's what you gotta do. I'm going to see if I can't find one more to find some cool stuff, but I'm pretty happy with what I found and uh, the stuff that the quality of the stuff that's come across like transformers, Smurfs, vintage uh, accessories, and even all those DVDs I bought and the DVD player. That's just really cool stuff to have and a good way to make some extra money. Look at this table. It's really cool. It's already gone, bud. <laughs> I know. It's just really cool. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I don't see many like it. Nope. And all this playing cards. It's awesome. Got backup camera. I mean, a camera and a 
monitor. Oh, neat. Yeah, I'm looking for like old uh, collectible stuff, you know, toys, video games, stuff like that. Oh, no. So that's it for today's yard selling. We found a bunch of good stuff. I had Evie with me. Maybe she's my lucky charm. Uh, but some of the stuff that I did pick out, I did a little bit of research. Um, that house is actually not Smurfs. It's from a show called Asterix and Obelix or a cartoon um, from the 70s. And it's made in Germany by a company named Bully and it's worth like 150 bucks. I'll attach an eBay listing to it, to this video so you can see. And I found those Micronauts parts are actually worth quite a bit as well. So it was worth going. The DVD player and the DVDs are obviously gonna make money. Um, but the cool stuff to find was Transformers because you know I collect those and I was able to repair the Mirage, although he's missing his spoiler. So all in all, it was a really good yard sale week. I will be going live on Tuesday to kind of show some of the cool stuff that I did find. Just talk to everybody about yard sale experiences. So if you do want to attend that, that's going to take the place of trivia night until the end of the summer. So for a good first week of yard selling, I am super excited to have found so much good stuff uh, and didn't really go crazy money wise. So bonus. enjoyed this kind of content make sure you hit the like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you next saturday for yard sale week two or three if you whatever you want to call it